URL parameters are a foundational piece of PPC campaigns. They allow us to see traffic source information or any campaign details in Google Analytics. They allow us to understand where traffic is coming from and attributing value in CRM systems. They're also a massive pain in the butt to set up when you have to do it manually. You have to type in the specific characters that you have in your campaign names, all of those nuanced names that you have for your ad creative, and up until recently in Facebook, you had to do this manually for every single thing that you wanted to track. Luckily, they've recently launched dynamic ad tracking parameters, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. In the Facebook business help section, we can see that there are six preset dynamic URL tracking parameters for Facebook ads. They are set up for each level of campaign structure. So there is campaign, ad set, and ad. You can then use either the name, what you have actually called it, or the ID. That's usually a long series of numbers that is unique to that campaign, ad set, or ad. So depending on how you want to report on the information from Facebook, be sure that you pay attention to name versus ID and the difference between the two. If you use dynamic tracking parameters for other platforms like Google Ads or Bing Ads, one thing to take specific note of for Facebook is that instead of using one of the curly brackets on the outside, they use two. That's for the beginning and the end. Google Ads will usually just use one and one at the beginning and one at the close. But for Facebook, make sure that there are two in place. Let's look at an example of how these will work in just an Excel sheet. For a campaign, we might set up something that looks like this. We have our website URL, paidmediapros.com. We then have a campaign, ad set, and ad name that we have in place. All of this is just for sake of example. Originally, if we would want to set up manual tagging, we would have to type in all of that information manually and make sure that it matched up correctly and wasn't going to break the URL. So it might look something like this. For each individual ad name, for a different ad variant, for a different ad set, different campaign, we would then have to go in and adjust the name, change the tracking parameters, make sure it all matched up. And depending on how many ads you're trying to create, if it's maybe just a couple, that might be easy to keep straight. But if you're in one of the larger Facebook accounts and you have 10, 20, hundreds, thousands of ads and campaigns to keep track of, you can go a little bit cross-eyed trying to make sure that all this stays straight. So what we can use instead is a dynamic tracking set of parameters. It'll look something like this. Here you'll see we've taken the campaign name, ad set name, and ad name dynamic parameters from that Facebook help page and just added them in in the same fields that we would have manually typed in the campaign, ad set, and ad name. The benefit is that for any of the ads that we have in our account, we can use this same set of tracking parameters and it will populate the information dynamically when the ad is triggered by a user clicking on it from the Facebook platform. Now that we know what a tracking parameter looks like with the dynamic fields in place, let's hop into the Facebook Ads Manager and see how we would actually apply this to our ads. I'm going to copy this field here, and then we'll hop into the platform. When tagging your ads, you'll want to add the different tracking parameters in the URL parameters field. One thing to take note of is you do not add the question mark at the beginning of the tracking for this. So that's just something to keep in mind. You'll remember that there were only six variables that we could use for dynamic tracking. Two key notable missing pieces are source and medium, which are foundational pieces within URL tracking. So for my ads here, I'm gonna to wanna to still manually tag source and medium and then append the dynamic tracking to the end of it. It'll look something like this. The best part about dynamic tracking is within the Facebook platform, everything source is going to be Facebook unless you tag Instagram slightly different. I always use CPC for all of my paid campaigns. So this set of tracking parameters right here, I can easily copy and paste into every single ad that I'm going to use on Facebook. I don't need to customize anything further than this because it will automatically populate the information that I want to have in there. Now, if you want to take a slightly easier way or you don't have your parameters in a separate sheet like I did and you can easily copy and paste, there's actually a really handy URL parameter builder right below the URL parameters field. If you click on that, 
it'll open up a builder so that you don't have to type in any of the question marks, underscores, any of that sort of thing for source, medium, campaign name, content. And the best part is, if you scroll down here maybe to campaign name, as soon as you go into the field, it will pre-populate the six dynamic parameters to choose from. You can choose them at any level that you want. All you have to do is come in here, click a couple, let's say medium for whatever reason you want it to be campaign ID. It'll show you a parameter preview at the bottom. This is what it's going to populate into the URL parameter field for you. So you actually don't have to type a lot of the stuff that could trip you up, especially those double curly brace on the outside. Simply click apply and you're finished. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel to see more videos.